In this tutorial we will create a modern animated title as you can see on your screen right now which animates in and also animates out so a very nice animated title let's create a new composition I'm gonna name it render as always 19 20 by 20 30 fps click ok so the first thing you need is to select the type tool or press ctrl t as a shortcut and type the text you're free to type anything you like I'm going to type animate it and select it go to align tab and align this in the middle then select the text and press ctrl d to duplicate it and bring this down double click on it and type something else so i'm going to type title now let's properly position the text but first let's turn on title action save to see the center point and just place your texts uh, in the middle so they do not overlap once you've placed your text accordingly, go ahead and select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle that will cover the bottom half of our composition. You can also zoom in here and using your arrow keys, bring this down until it's in exactly in the middle. Then go ahead and select the shape layer 1. Let's rename this to mat 1 to stay organized. Then select it and press Ctrl D to duplicate it and place mat 1 above the title text layer. Now we need to set the track mat options for our text. So if you don't see this track mat window, click on this button here or you can press F4 until you see one. Set the title track mat to alpha mat and animated track mat to alpha inverted mat. That way we no longer see our rectangles and we can proceed to animating our text. Expand the properties of our animated text layer and press on this button that says animate and select position. Then click on this button that says add, go to property and add tracking. Now we can change the position of our text. So let's drag this up and uh, let's actually set it to 200. And also for the tracking amount, play around with it, but I'm going to set it to minus 100. That looks best in my opinion. So once you've set those values, let's go ahead and expand the range selector one. Go to the start of your composition, create a keyframe for start. And move two seconds forward and set start to 100 and select the keyframes the right click go to keyframe assistant and set easy e so you can press f9 as a shortcut then navigate to the graph editor select this point here drag the handle all the way to the left and for this one all the way to the right to create this peak let's do a quick preview and that gives us a very snappy and smooth animation now we need to add the same animation to our bottom text. So select the animator one and press Ctrl C to copy it. Go to the bottom text. So title, expand the properties, go to text. Select the text and press Ctrl V to paste the animator here. Of course, we'll need to change the position. So instead of the positive 200, we need to set position to minus 200. So it animates from top to bottom. One thing that's left here is to align the keyframes properly. Let's expand the range selector one for our bottom text and let's expand this a bit so we can work more precisely. What I like to do is offset the keyframes by 15 frames. So from the start of your composition, go forward 15 frames and select these bottom keyframes and align them accordingly. Let's do a quick preview. And like that, we get a more synchronized animation that they follow each other in a way. Now let's spice this up by adding more animation. Right click, new, null object. Select every single layer and parent them to the null object. By dragging the pick whip, dropping it onto the null object. Now select your text layers and press U to reveal the keyframes and again to work more precisely. Select your null object and press S to reveal the scale properties. And again, what I think looks the best is to count 15 frames from the last keyframe of the top text so count 15 frames back create a keyframe for a scale of well null object set the scale to 105 then from here move two seconds forward and set scale to 95 now of course select the keyframes press f9 as a shortcut to easy ease the keyframes go to the graph editor and create the peak in the middle by dragging the handles to the middle. Let's quickly preview what we have. And as you can see, that extra animation at the end makes our title even more interesting. But we're not done yet. Right click, new adjustment layer. 
place this adjustment layer below the null object so it affects all the layers except the null I go to effect and presets window and search for transform it'll be under distort so grab this and add it to the adjustment layer then go to effect controls and set skew mount to minus 8 so that way our text looks even more interesting it's skewed and looks really cool in my opinion really modern of course you are able to change the color for text and even the font by selecting the layer go into a character window and here you are free to choose any color that you like it's just that easy to change the color of your text or give it a different font if you like so we've covered animating our title in now let's proceed to animating our title out to so select all the layers right click Pre compose give it a name and make sure that move all attributes is selected click ok now select the layer is a title layer for me right click go to time enable time remapping click on that now you need to find the frame where the animation finishes so let's say four seconds so move to it four seconds and create a keyframe from here you can choose for how long your title stays visible in this way once you've determined that say you go two seconds forward copy the keyframe that we've created four seconds and paste it here that'll be acting as a hold keyframe and from here move to the end of your composition and set the time to zero and then zoom in here and just remove the last keyframe we don't need that select it press delete let's now preview how our title animates out so that's animating in and here it animates out the same way really cool in my opinion and at this point we've covered the animation parts of our title and say you want to change the title so all you have to do is go inside the composition select the text layer double click on it and type something else so I'm going to type modern and for the bottom text select it double click I'm going to type animation and let's preview it's just that easy to change the text and preview it in real time really really cool that's it for our animated title tutorial if you enjoyed the video give it a like and subscribe to my channel thank you have a good day